I have two things to show you today. One is M.2 SSD enclosure, EC700G, and another one is ADATA SSD M.2 Legend 802TB. Box is empty, so the heatsink is not attached yet, and you are able to see how it looks. Heatsink. It's not a sink, but anyway, you understand, heat plate, whatever. It's a metal plate to dissipate the heat. I will not stick it right now, because I want to test it first. If it's not working, I will probably have to send it back. Let's open this now. Okay, so this is the device. Another heat plate here. For this enclosure, you do not necessarily need to have a data SSD. That's why this one comes with a heat plate of its own. I will not open it because it's exactly the same like this one is just a plate with a sticker on the back. And we have two cables. One is in the bag, another one is not. I don't know why. Anyway, we have USB-C, USB-C, very short and USB-C, USB-A. So if you have a computer with USB-A, you use this one, and with USB-C, you use this one. This is installation guide, whatever, something that you will use in order to open it up and mount the SSD on it. Okay, let's see the device. By the way, it has RGB. I did not mention, because for me, it doesn't matter so much. It's quite heavy. And this is because um, it's made of metal and from what I see it's quite, see quite thick. This is the button that you have to press in order to open it. Let me see, ah, like, okay, it goes like this. So you press this button and you slide this down. Yeah, wow, the plate is quite thick. Yeah, it looks nice. I, I love it. I like it very much how it looks. Uh, this is plastic, so you have to be careful with this button. Okay, it's very simple. It has a, a port here. This is the USB-C port. This is a port for the SSD. And on the back, there are some circuits. I'm not sure if I am able to, re to get it out. No, I don't think so. It's unfortunate because I would have wanted to see what chipset it has. There is some chipset which is written right now on the screen and it doesn't go very well with Max. Okay, so let's put the SSD. You will need a tool, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure everybody has a screwdriver in house. <laughs> You just put the SSD inside and you have to be careful because here is a gap and here also. So you put it here, click and then this screw goes here. that's it. Okay. A bit tricky. No. Perfect. That's it. Let's connect it to the system and do some speed test. Because this Mac has USB-C, I will use this cable, which has USB-C and USB-C on both ends. I don't think you need explanation for this. You put one end here and one end to the range. It fits, but it's uh, wobbly. Okay, I have here some uh, enclosure from Asus. I have the presentation of this one in the channel. And I was curious if... Yeah, so it's wobbly. Also this one. Let's see again. Aha, okay. You have to push it harder. If it moves like this, this means it's not fully plugged. So yeah, like this. You see, and now it's okay. 
So it's a plus. This one moves a bit, but I never had any problems with it. It doesn't disconnect. Okay, let's plug it and immediately you see the light. This continue. because this is the purpose of it. Uh, the light is quite bright. I hope I will not be disturbed by it. Let's see, I have this amorphous disc mark which I can use to test it. Well, I am satisfied from two perspectives. First of all, this is rated with higher speeds, 3500 megabytes per second. However, you can reach those speeds almost if you are using an M2 SSD directly on your laptop. If you use exactly the same SSD, M.2 SSD with an enclosure like this one or even like this one because both have the same speed, you get only 10 gigabits per second because this is the fastest speed that this enclosure can get. Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test also shows what I've seen with the other software. I went to their website to see if there is a software for it. I haven't found any. So if you believe I'm wrong <laughs> and you found a way to modify the RGB at least for this one, let me know. If you go to downloads, you have only this data sheet and that's it. There is no software. But there is something which I've seen and <laughs> it was a bit funny. It's written to less assembly. Installation is as easy as one, two, three. No screwdrivers are required. Go back to the part where I've installed the SSD and you will see that I needed a screwdriver to open the screw that was holding the SSD. It's compatible with PCI Express and SATA SSD. Of course, the speed is not the same. This is uh, okay because not many enclosures support M2 PCI Express and M2 SATA. So this is good. Tool less. Tool less is not. You need a tool. And that's pretty much it. One important thing I'll have to test if it's compatible with Max. For example, this Axagon NVMe M2, EEM2 UG2, this has that chipset that is not compatible with many Macs. I have tested on all Macs that I have. It works at first, but if you keep it connected for a longer time, you will not be able to write to it anymore and it will get disconnected. It's not a compatibility problem with the operating system, it's, it's harder compatibility. If I'm using Windows or Linux, you get the same error. So, today you have seen Legend 800 2000 GB, uh, 2 terabytes, and the speed test for it. Also, this enclosure, which has only 10 gigabits per second, but most enclosures have this speed. So, according to the market, it's more than enough. <laughs> it's very good that it has two cables, one USB-C, USB-A and one USB-C, USB-C. So we can use it with both computers. By the way, 10 gigabits per second you'll get only if you use it with this cable. With this cable, which is usb on the other end, you'll get 5 gigabits per second. Great, so I hope you have learned important things. First of all, you will not be able to reach the full speed of the M.2 PCI Express SSD with an enclosure. You will get only the fastest speed of the enclosure, of course, if you have the hardware for it. Unfortunately, like I said, you do not have any way to modify this RGB. It's kind of bright. I hope I will not be very much disturbed by it. I will have to stick this plate and it will look even better and that's it thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one okay bye